Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. In the last uh, uh, lecture, I started uh, the kinetics of homogeneous chemical reactions. And uh, as I mentioned that uh, uh, before we understand the biochemical reaction uh, engineering, we should, uh, we should have some kind of thorough idea on the chemical re reaction engineering. And uh, in the last uh, uh, lecture, I try to concentrate on that uh, what are the different classifications of the chemical reaction. I told you that uh, whatever uh, chemical reactions we have broadly, it can be divided into two different class. One is called homogeneous reaction, another is the heterogeneous reaction. Now, in case of homogeneous reaction, the reaction takes place in one particular phase. As you know, we have three different phases. One is gas, liquid, and solid. Now, when <coughs> the homogeneous reaction takes place, mostly this takes place either gas or liquid phase. In the solid, pure solid phase reaction is rarely available. Now, in case of heterogeneous reaction, that more than one phase present there, either gas, liquid, or liquid, solid, the more than one phase should be present in the reaction mixture. So, bottlenecks of this particular heterogeneous reaction is that one phase has to diffuse uh, to the surface of the other phase and then and only then the reaction takes place and after the reaction is over, the whatever product is formed, the product supposed to diffuse from the surface uh, of the other phase to the, uh, to, the, to the and diffuse to the next phase. Now, so diffusion is a uh, diffusion as well as reaction both we shall have to consider in case of heterogeneous reaction. Now, if your rate of diffusion is less than the, as compared to rate of reaction, then diffusion will be the controlling factor. Now, in case of rate of reaction is less as compared to rate of diffusion, then rate of reaction is a controlling factor. Then I, I try to, oh, we, we, we talk about some kind of mathematical modeling Mathematical modeling is the mathematical representation of the process. Now we started with some kind of chemical reaction. In the chemical reaction, we try to uh, write the uh, reaction uh, kinetics equation. And this equation, rate equations, is kind of modeling. And uh, today, I, uh, in the last class, I tried to discuss about the, uh, the reverse, irreversible reaction the how we can analyze uh, in uh, in addition to that we also discuss the parallel reaction also autocatalytic reaction which is largely applicable in the biological system now today uh, uh, that uh, we are uh, i am going to concentrate on two different reactions one is called steps before the glucose is converted to pyruvic acid now <coughs> that and if you, if you look at the individual steps, more, all the steps more or less they are reversible in nature. So from this uh, the metabolic pathway, we understand the biochemical reactions are, they are mostly the chain reaction. That is eight, one, two, three, four, the 10 different steps are involved before we get the pyruvic acid. One mole of pyruvic acid produces two moles of, uh, one mole of glucose produces two moles of pyruvic acid. Now, uh, now, if you look at the individual steps, we'll find they're reversible in nature. So, in the biological system, we have both chain reaction as well as the reversible reaction. The today, I want to discuss both the uh, chain reaction and the reversible reactions. Now, if you look at uh, irreversible, that uh, chain reaction, what we have seen in the glucose metabolic pathway, the tail, steps are involved because before the glucose is converted to pyruvic acid. Now here we have <laughs> taken one instance that A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. 
So different products that we have and uh, intermediate product that is B, C, D we have. Now if you look at the that concentration profile of the different component present in the chain reaction is like this. If you look the first component A that is keep on decreasing with respect to time and last component E if you see that is keep on increasing with respect to uh, time. But all intermediate compound like B, C, D they are, they are rising then decreasing, rising and decreasing. The one thing I want to uh, emphasize here then until unless B form C cannot be formed. Until unless C form D cannot be formed. That is very important. So in case of uh, this intermediate that uh, chain reaction that uh, the strategy is that that uh, you know, first component that the uh, substrate will keep on decreasing with respect to time and last component will keep on rising with respect to time. All intermediate compounds they will increase then decrease. So this is the how this reaction looks. Now let us consider a very simple uh, chain, re chain reaction that we have. Uh, what you, that uh, let me let me consider a very simple that reaction that is A to B, B to C. This is kind of uh, uh, irreversible that uh, simplest chain reaction that we have. Let us assume this is the rate con rate of rate constant is K1 and in this step the rate constant is K2. Now if you want to write the rate of substrate degradation DCA by DT, this will come around K1 into CA if you consider the first order kinetics. Now if you, if you want to write CB by rate of formation of the intermediate compounds, then this will be what rate of formation K1 into rate of formation of A and, and P also degraded, degraded to C. So this will be K2 into CB. Now if you, if, you, if you want to, this we can consider number one equation, this we consider number two equation. And another is DCC by DT, this will be equal to K2 into CB. So this is three equation. Now here, if you want to draw a profile of the three component present in the reaction mixture, so I have showed you in the chain reaction, the first component CA will keep on decreasing with respect to time and B, this will increase and then will decrease, this is the CB and last component will keep on increasing with respect to time, that is CC. Now here, what we are interested, we are interested to uh, develop the equation for CA, then CB, then CC. So in the equation, how we can correlate with respect to time. So that if we put the time that uh, in that equation, we can get the respective value. Then uh, I forgot to mention in the last class, there is another term called the uh, simulation that uh, because when you write any kind of model, suppose we can, we have written this model, we determine the value of K1 after I showed you how K1 and N value can be determined, then when you put these values there, then we can simulate that we can, we can, we can put the, we can, we can just solve this equation and we can develop the theoretical correlation between the concentration of substrate with respect to time. And then we compare with the experimental results. And when you compare with the experimental results, we try to calculate what is the percentage deviation of these results and, and if the percentage deviation is less than 5%, then it is acceptable, it's more than 5%, then we do certain mod, mod, modification of this equation. Now here, now next step that if you look at this equation, what I have written before, then <coughs> I, what, what I read it, TCA by DT equal to, equal to K1 into CA, now I can write this is DCA by CA, this is equal to K1 into DT, this we can write. Now this is equal to D ln CA and this is minus K1 into DT. Now if you do the integration, this is CA0 to CA and this is 0 to T, then what we will get? This is ln minus ln. CA by CA0. 
this is equal to k 1 into t. Am I right? Now, this equation I can write in this form a equal to c a 0 into e to the power minus k 1 t. So, the because you know c a 0 is constant and, and k 1 is a constant. Now, in this equation, if you put the value of t because 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minutes, whatever value respect. So, what we have, what I, what I wanted to mean, so we have uh, experimentally, we have developed the equation with respect to time, this, suppose this is the experimental value. Then, uh, then in the theoretical, this uh, value, theoretical value also, we can find out here, what is the respective value we can find out. And then we can easily calculate what is the percentage uh, you know, deviation we have as uh, with respect to the experimental the form, from that we can we can we can we can write the validity of the um, of the of the particular um, equation. So this is number four equation that we have. We should remember that. Now next <coughs> that uh, next uh, you can remember I told you C B by D T C T is equal to K one into C A minus K two into C B. Am I right? I have written K1 into CA minus K2 into CB. So, this I can rearrange like DCB by DT plus K2 into CB. This is equal to K1 into CA. Now, both sides, if you multiply it by e to the power K2 t e to the power k 2 t and this is e to the power k 2 t, then what equation we will get? Here we can write this as uh, d c b into e to the power k 2 t by <coughs> d t. I can write like this and here we, uh, this is also here we have, we have done some mistakes. The, here it will be already k1 k1 is there this we can write k1 and multiplied by uh, k minus 1 was there and into multiplied by e to the power k2t because we multiply both side by e to the power k2t so this i can write k1 ca e to the power k2 minus k1 into t this we can write now this equation from this equation we can write C B into e to the power k 2 t, this should be equal to what? This should be equal to k 1 into this is C A 0, this is C A 0, C A 0 is the constant and this is k 2 minus k 1 and this is e to the power k 2 minus k 1 into t. This we can we can write this plus constant. Now, if we have the boundary condition, what is the boundary condition at t equal to 0, C B should be equal to 0, because until unless A degraded, that, uh, that uh, B cannot be formed. If it is that, I can assume this. Now, if you assume the C B equal to 0, this first portion will be 0, then, then here, if you put t equal to 0, then this will be 0. Uh, uh, so, what we can write the constant equal to minus k 1 c a 0 into k 2 minus k 1. This we can write. Now, this this equation I can put it here. This is constant. Now, I, I, can, I can erase this. I can I take it out and I can again put this value here that this this also this also i can remove and here we can put minus this minus this is k1 ca0 k2 minus k1 this i can I can write now <coughs> once uh, so your equation what is the equation you have cb into e to the power k2t equal to this now if you divide uh, this side with e to, t, e to the power k2t, then what you will get? You will get cb equal to ca0 
divided by k1 k2 minus k2 k2 minus k1 so here you can find out e to the power k1 t minus e to the power k2 t you can you can find it out now <coughs> the another another thing is that and here uh, and then uh, then we can we can we can calculate that uh, that uh, now we have seen that uh, the cb versus t uh, what is the profile that you have it is like this now we are interested to calculate the value of this point what is this point Where this in point cb will be maximum so this we call t max so at this point d cb by dt because this attains the plateau so this will be equal to 0 so now if you if you differentiate this cb by dt then what you will get ca0 minus k2 minus k1 now here i can write uh, most probably here we have k1 and uh, here uh, minus k1 e to the power k1 t plus k2 e to the power k2 t now <coughs> what we can we can write this is again it is k1 so what we can write this will be equal to 0 now this cannot be equal to 0 so i can assume this is equal to 0 now if you put this equal to 0 what you can write the k1 by k2 k1 by k2 equal to what equal to i can write e to the power k2 t by e to the power k minus 1 t am i right so if you take it up the what you will get e to the power k1 minus k2 t this we can write this is k2 then <coughs> then this is if you take log log then k1 by k2 equal to k1 minus k2 into t now here uh, the t you can write t equal to what t equal to 1 by k1 minus k2 ln k1 by k2 so we can this is equal to t max because this is the time you can easily now in this equation if this value t max value you put here we get the cv max value now we can easily calculate the cv max value this is how you can find out the the time at which we can get the maximum the intermediate product formation now here we have shown in this particular uh, slide you can see this is a to b b to c now that is the rate of degradation of a this is minus this minus i can take it here this is uh, this is uh, k1 into ca then rate of, rate of formation of b i can write this and rate of formation of c i can write this now here we know that uh, uh, the total concentration initial concentration of a would be equal to concentration of at any point of time this this is the equal molecular conversion the equal molecular conversion means one mole of a converted to a one mole of b one mole of b converted one mole of c so i can write c a 0 equal to c a plus c b plus c c this we can write now from the first first equation we have seen that uh, this is d c a ln c a by c a 0 equal to k this is equal to this i have already shown you how we got this now in case of intermediate product formation this is again this is equal to this dcb by dt equal to this this i have already shown and then if we bring it here then we finally write the equation like this now when you when you do the the uh, the differentiation of this then finally we we come across this equation dcb into e to the power k2t equal to k1 by 
k2 minus k1 c is 0 e to the power k2 minus k1 t plus constant. Now we put the boundary condition at t equal to 0, c b equal to 0, then the constant value will be this much. Then, then finally we, we have come across this equation. I showed you the c b equal to k1 c a 0 k2 minus k1 e to the power minus k1 t minus e to the power k2 t. This we, we can we can get and and this is the, so in this equation if you look at that everything is constant k1 is constant c k2 is constant mm, so c a 0 is constant so if you put the time t then you can easily find out we can we can easily find out the correlation between c b versus t you can you can have the this is called theoretical correlation that you can easily find it out that if you put the different at different time just you put the time value you will get the value of c b here now this is i i showed you that uh, uh, once you get this equation if you want to find out c b max you can easily do that at uh, that uh, this at c b max uh, d c b by d t equal to zero if we differentiate we will get this now here here you see that uh, that uh, this uh, this is the equation I have already derived, and uh, and uh, that uh, ultimate uh, if, if you take it at the bottom, this is we can write uh, t max equal to k into k log min. This is uh, this equation we can uh, we can write like this. Now our final equation is coming like this when we put the c v max value in this equation, we we get this c v max equal to we put the value we can the easily find out what is the c v max value we can easily calculate so with this the equation we can now i i told you regarding the cc we can also do it very easily because i told you c a 0 is equal to what c a plus c b plus c c am i right now what will be c c value this will be c a 0 minus c a minus c b so we have already determined the expression for c a already we have determined the expression of b so if we put this equation here we can easily find out the c c value so we can what we have done c c with respect to time this is how it is increasing this we can easily uh, this uh, that uh, we can easily find out that uh, if you put this equation now this is t max value already we have calculated now c r max that equation we have we have shown you that uh, t max value we put that now this t max value we can substitute there and we can get this equation then finally we we get this if you if you if you if you simplify this it will come this equation this final equation is either here you see that c v max and so everything is constant you put everything in the form of constant so you can find out we can put the value we can find out the uh, CR max value or CB max value we can easily calculate. This is uh, though we have written CB max this should be CB max. So you can make the correction. Now this is how we can write and uh, this is uh, final equation rearranging we can get this equation. Now as I pointed out that that most of the biochemical reaction they are reversible in nature. Reversible means you can see there is a forward reaction there is a backward reaction. So it is like this, I, if, I, if I write like this, a, a, this is k1, this is k2, and this is r. So, so the, at the equilibrium condition, rate of forward reaction should be equal to rate of backward reaction. What is the rate of forward reaction? k1 into ca, k1 into ca equal to k2 into cr. So now cr, CR by ca, equal to uh, equal to k1 by k2 and this is nothing but equal to kc that uh, equilibrium constant this is the equilibrium constant how we can calculate now in this equation also we, we can show that the equation is this is very simple the rate of formation rate of formation of r equal to rate of degradation of a this is can be represented like this how how this is this can be represented we have shown you the what is CA? CA equal to CA0 into XA. What is XA? The fraction of XA that is, uh, no, this is, sorry, this is not the right thing. This is, I can, I can cancel. This is 
this will be 1 minus x a x a is the fraction converted so the, what is the fraction remaining that is uh, ma 1 minus x a that is the fraction remaining that is equal to c a now if you do c a this will be what minus this will be constant so i can write c a 0 into d x a so this equation if you differentiate this is constant so this equation i can write in this form d x a by d t and this is equal to same and what is CA? CA equal to CA0 into fraction that is converted. And what is the uh, CR? CR is the, this is equal to usually 0. And this is the fraction that remains how much, how much things has been converted CA0 into XA. So at the equilibrium condition, this will be equal to 0. So we can write this. And E stands for the equilibrium concentration. So we can we can just change this in terms of equilibrium concentration. We can write this equation like this. Now, finally, we, we from this previous equation, if you look at this equation, I can take CA common, all these equations. So I, I, can, I can take out the CA out. And this is equal to 0. Now, uh, the ratio of this, that uh, M plus uh, XAE if we divided by this equal to K1 by K2. And that is nothing but equal to the Kc, the, what you call your uh, equilibrium constant. Now, the rearranging this equation, we can write in this form. The, the way we can write in this form. And then, then we, we, can, we can elaborate this equation in this form. This is very simple. We can do the, we can take this common and when we can, we write this equation like this. And finally, we have the expression like this. When we have this expression, then we can uh, we can we can plot uh, this uh, this uh, uh, ln one minus x a this this is the versus uh, this t. If you plot the slope, will give you the value of this one. Slope will give you the value of this one. So <coughs> this is if m equal to c d zero by c a zero. That is constant. And x a e is the that conversion of under equilibrium condition. So if you put that value, you can easily find out the value of k1. So this is how you can find out the rate constant value. So uh, in conclusion, I, what I want to tell that uh, today I try to discuss that uh, two type of reaction that is largely in operation in the biochemical system. One is the chain reaction, another is the reversible reaction. And chain reaction, we consider very simple chain reaction A to B, B to C. And reversible reaction A to B, how reversibly con converted. Only one thing I forgot to mention that, uh, that in case of reversible reaction, that we can increase the product formation by two different approach. Either you t as soon as your Kc equal to concentration of product divided by concentration of substrate. Now, if you want to increase the product formation, as soon as product form, if you take it out, more substrate will convert it into product or uh, or uh, there is another approach we can have if we add more substrate to the system you will get more product because kc remain constant and the, in the chain reaction we try to find out the time the expression for the all the different component present in the chain reaction and major thing is that we are interested to find out at what time you will get the maximum intermediate product formation thank you very much